Do you know Fingen, second high king of the Noldor in Beleriand? Turgon, his successor and Lord of Gondolin, or Arathel Arfenia, the White Lady of the Noldor? Perhaps you know them as the three children of Ingolfin and his wife, although she isn't mentioned in the Silmarillion. But Anaira is not the only member of Ingolfin's family, who we can't find there. Have you ever heard something about Arakano or Argon in Sindarin? If not, then you are in the right place. Let me tell you that little we can know about him. Argon, who can only be found in later writings of Tolkien, was the fourth and youngest child of Ingolfin and his wife Anaira, born after 1361 during the years of the trees in Tyrion. He is described to be the tallest of his siblings and had probably the dark hair of the Noldor. His Quenya name, Arakano, means High Commander, for his vigorous personality, even though he never used it. With his father and his siblings, he went across the Helcaraxi to Beleriand, where he died during the first fight between the host of Ingolfin and the Yorks signed by Morgoth, known as the Battle of the Lamoth, where he fought a path through their enemies for killing the leader of the Orcs. Argon's death is considered as the first sign of the Doom of Mandos. His age was less than 1381 years, very young for an elf. It is also interesting that Tolkien first intended for Argon to be killed during the kinslaying at Alcolonde, then to die while the elves were crossing the Helcaraxe. What do you think how Argon's life would have been when he wasn't killed at the Lamoth? Would he, for example, stay with one of his siblings? Or with his father? Would he become High King of the Noldor after the death of Turgon instead of Gilgalad? What do you think? I know that this was a very short character history, but I think it is also important to bring light to less known people in the history of Middle-earth. I hope you enjoyed it anyway and thank you very much for watching and see you hopefully next time. Bye!